Працюємо з сім'ями. Ми працюємо з сім'ями, навіть з дітей і дітей. Every weekend, Andriy and his friends and relatives gather in the workshop. They convert purchased cars for the armed forces of Ukraine. Two of them are evacuation cars for combat medics on the front line, so that they are equipped with everything necessary. The Poles help with additional equipment. One of the hospitals in Poland helped with medical equipment. This is a board. I mounted it for two wounded people, so that they could be transported. Andriy films the whole process of re-equipment on his phone. He says that minibuses are equipped so that they can cope with any conditions during the evacuation of the wounded. We put a three-ton winch there so that we could pull ourselves out or save someone. We mounted cameras, put up such light beacons to see from afar what is coming. We also put the converter on 400 watts. They say that it is very important that drivers can move safely in the dark for work on the front line. A professional camera to move around at night time without lighting, that is, with a blackout so that we are not visible. Also, each car is prepared for rough road features in combat zones. Without such a tire, there is nothing to do in the combat zones. They take the guys out from there by other means of transport, either by MTLB or by UAS-452. But these cars are needed to deliver the wounded either to Kupiansk or Chuhuyev, to Kharkiv, to the hospital and so on. Polish doctors provided defibrillators and artificial respirators for evacuation transport. Volin volunteers bring converted cars to Ukraine from Poland. Every time there is some kind of humanitarian aid in the cars, this aid is provided by the Poles. This time we brought a lot of it, bandages, various medical items. Vera is showing bandages, first aid for burns, plasters to stop bleeding, everything that helps doctors on the front line to provide assistance to servicemen in the first minutes after being wounded. Doctors handed over Israeli bandages, decompression needles, occlusive dressings, which the guys really need, from Poland. This is a water repellent or patrunek. This is a bandage. And when it is applied to the hand, to the wound, then it is winded. The evacuation vehicle that arrived from Poland will be sent to the doctors of the 14th separate mechanized brigade in the Kharkiv region in a few days. We have a war in Ukraine and we must help. We must work for their war needs and help with everything we can. Everyone unites. Glory to Ukraine. We will definitely win. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Denis Fuluk, UATV News.